must be as well, given the results that they've had. Let's take a check on the teams then. Four-two-three-one again for Chelsea. Then Enzo Fernandez and Conor Gallagher, the two holding midfielders today. Nicholas Jackson will again be the point of the attack. It's going to be interesting to see where Christopher and Kunku plays. He'll have a floating role, one would imagine. Carney Chukwemeka looking to impress as he has done so far in pre-season. Kepa between the post. Gagas Lenina will be hoping to get on at some stage of the place he used to call home. And Levi Colwell celebrating that new contract with a place in the starting 11. Well, Dortmund without some key players. Uh, Gregor Kobel, the goalkeeper, is injured, as is Munier, Schlotterbeck and Nemecha. Ben Sabayani, normally a left-back, expecting him to fill in on the right tonight. It's a pretty experienced midfield with uh, Sabitzer having signed from Bayern Munich. He spent the second half of last season on loan at Manchester United and Marco Royce, the veteran, also in there and pace and quality in attack with Makuku, Adeyemi and Danielle Marlin. Games with the captain's armband on for Chelsea tonight. Still waiting to hear who will have it permanently next season. Schuller is the skipper for Borussia Dortmund. Are you expecting this game? Obviously, it's not going to be the intensity of the Champions League tie or anything, but it ought to be played at pretty much near 100% now from the first whistle now, now that the fitness has been built up over the last couple of weeks. I, I would think so. Yeah, and that Champions League game will be games will be relatively fresh in the majority of the players' minds. So, yeah, I think there will be a little bit of needle there potentially. Fitness levels are right up there now as well. So the intensity of the last few games have been ferocious from the off. Expecting nothing left this evening. Chelsea going to get us underway, kicking right to left as we look at it in the first half. Field, more than 60,000 capacity stadium. A healthy number in here tonight for this game. So here we go then, Chelsea versus Borussia Dortmund for the second time in 2023, but this time it's stateside. Thiago Silva just about kept him, was it, on the far side? By pushed away by Kepa. And the shot driven back in with the deflection allows it to be turned in from close range. And Dortmund take the lead. Marius Wolf, Chelsea waiting for a flag which didn't arrive. And Wolf, the substitute, not long onto the pitch, breaks the deadlock in Chicago, and makes it Chelsea nil. Borussia Dortmund won. We've yeah, spoken about it a few times in the last five, ten minutes or so. A really good touch when the ball got cleared from Bamber, I think it was. Kepler's punch, that touch enables the strike, the strike to come quickly. It's really close, isn't it? Once it takes a deflection or two. To be just straight into an offside position, but turns it home really comfortably on his right side, skipped up nicely onto the volley. And just pushed it to the left-hand side of Kepa, not going to miss from that range. Marius Wolf, an unlikely goal scorer, the full back. Is that the goal that settles this game? Chelsea will hope not. In about 10 minutes, a number of chances, just couldn't get that goal. There was a chance left. Good ball in from Mudrick, they haven't got it away. Fernandez, and then loops in for 1 1 by Mason Burstow. What a moment for the 19 year old. And with just a couple of minutes remaining, 
Chelsea do get the equaliser, and it's Mason Burstow who makes it Chelsea 1, Borussia Dortmund 1. Oh, brilliant. The goal scorer that you would have wanted, Chelsea Blue, that young man. And it was a really nice one as well because he didn't have any time to think about it, if you like, where you can get a little bit anxious and maybe snatch at the opportunity. It comes at him so quickly. Just going to try and get that loft, get that direction towards the far post, and he does both. It's perfect. You can tell as soon as it left his head, it was going to find that far corner. Brilliant way to end the tour. And this did really well to win the first header. First, though, looped his over Meyer. Travis Deep with Chelsea have been beaten in this game because there's no way they've been 